he's been getting he's been transporting these things. Okay, tell me more. Well, what happened was now wait a minute, just real, real quick, because I want to I want to get this on tape. This is a person that you've been talking to. That's a truck driver. As a he's a private contractor for FEMA, and he and he transports things for them all over the United States and Canada. Right. Okay. Now what about him? I, just kind of taping this for posterity. Okay, so he he was coming into I can hear myself there, but he was coming into Canada, so he he attacks me or he yeah, he texted me and said that he, uh, we should do lunch. And then he sent me another text and said that he got called out of town right away. And his text said um I'll just read this for you. Because he said he left a clue, a clue in this, and I don't know the military basis, so I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody else does. But, uh, hi, Scott. Sorry, but I had to leave town right away. Uh, Denver, Colorado, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, San Antonio, Texas. Here in San Antonio, Texas, having the day off. Then I'm off to New Orleans. So, he said to me on the phone that these he's been driving stuff to military bases. Um, he's been putting um, he's been putting uh, or he's been carrying crates of these bullets um, and delivering them to the military bases. And he's carrying sixteen crates at a time. He said they're very heavy. They're two feet high by eight feet wide. The other thing he told me is that he's been carrying stun grenades, truckloads of stun grenades. Um, and, you know, so I, I don't know exactly how they work. I think they, they, they don't explode, but they give a concussion off from what I understand. Um, he also said that FEMA told him he's having a new phone issued to him in November. Um, and also that uh, there has been a lot of military movements, and he was in a uh, there was a truck with him that was a hundred had a hundred foot long load on it, and it was something military. Um, I don't know what it was. I don't know what would be a hundred feet long, but it was one piece uh, of military equipment. Um, also, he said that in the Mojave Desert they are having military uh, drops. They're dropping stuff, big um, big equipment, uh, military equipment in the Mojave Desert. Um, you know, from where he was, I, I don't, I know, I think the Mojave Desert's pretty big and, and I'm not quite sure where that, that exactly uh, that is. Now, the other thing he said to me, which was really interesting, is he said to me that um, he said all the truck, or, truck drivers are talking about it. And I mentioned this, he did mention this to me a couple of weeks ago when we talked before, about uh, Russian and Polish uh, truck drivers in Canada that have disappeared in the United States. 30% of them. 30% of the Russians and uh, Polish, he said in particular, um, truck drivers that their trucks and the drivers have, have disappeared. So what that means... Um, I don't know. Are they going somewhere? Are they or are they actually are they missing? But thirty percent of the Russian and and Polish truck drivers are just vanished, uh, and everybody's aware of it. So, or the people that are the truckers, anyways. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, you know, I mean, he is he is saying that he's going to give it three more weeks, and he's he's getting out of there is what he said to me. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I think that was pretty well that I mean, it, it's not fresh in my mind if it, you know, that I've talked about this yesterday if I forgot. Okay, what was it, what was the other thing that he said? Um, well, he said that there was a, a, me a message in the text that he had sent me about the military bases. So he said, figure it out yourself. So he did say Denver, Colorado.
um, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, and San Antonio. So apparently that's where the military base is where he's been running these bullets. Um, now the other thing he said too was the fact that um, that there's been a mass grave found in Laredo, Texas. Anybody hear about this? Has anybody heard about this? He said that it was found last week. Um, where was this? Where was this mass? Where was it at? I mean, Laredo, Texas. Is it by some kind of a military base or something, or what? I'm not sure. He didn't. He didn't say. He just said that he wasn't allowed to go down around that area. And he said between two places, between Laredo and somewhere else, starts with a B. Um, I, I forget what he said, but um, he also said that that down in uh, down in Texas, and you guys know would know better than I do, but that um, basically the uh, Mexican border guards and the, their uh, army or whatever are actually coming into Mexico right now, and and like they're basically like running, walking freely around in in Texas. Is this true? I don't know. Now you're saying that this is something that he's telling you as a FEMA driver? Yeah, that, that's what he told me. And he said he's not allowed to go down to a certain area down in Texas because of that. And because of the and apparently this mass grave that was found in Laredo, Texas, um, Laredo between Laredo and somewhere else. I forget the it started with a B, I think. Um let me just Google it. But anyways, that and, and that was the other thing that, that he told me that I, I didn't uh, I, that I forgot to say. But anyways, that that's it.